What is going on here exactly? Here to tell us, a man whose name has become a synonym for Wall Street's recklessness and corruption, but someone who's actually learned from his experiences and his interesting things to say about the moment we're in right now. He is Jordan Belfort, the original Wolf of Wall Street, and we're happy to have him on tonight. Jordan, thanks so much for coming on the show. So, My pleasure. You've participated in this from every possible angle. You've watched it for decades. What do you think is going on here with the Reddit guys? Well, I think you hit it right on the head, and that was my thesis for tonight, was this is really a convergence of a few different things. Number one, finally, the little guy has the ability to fight back through a convergence of technology, the platforms for trading, the ability to communicate as a group. So yes. in the past, you could have never done this before. So there are two types of short sellers in this world. There's the legitimate ones that's a natural part of the market, and there's another part that are these hedge funds that gang up and literally will short a stock almost down to zero out of business. They try to spread negative news. They'll start investigations. And that's what has started with GameStop, massively overshorting a stock. And this, I think, as you said, connects to a far bigger thing than just trying to make a few bucks on a trade. This is about the end of the movie, The, you know, the Big Short, where, like I said, all the bad guys went to jail. Ha, ha, just kidding. No, no one went to jail. So I think everyone right, knows exactly. there's something really wrong in the pit of their stomach. You can silence people. You can deplatform people. You can, um, you know, um, break things with bleach pit and hammers and get away with it. There's two, everyone knows whether you're on uh, the Republican or Democrat, there's something wrong. That's, That's why right. both sides of the aisle united on this one thing. You notice that? Both sides united because it was money sort of takes the politics out of it. So what happened here is these people, like, if you actually dig into the boards, like, I think my first reaction was, oh, there's a pump and dump. But no, it's really not what's going on. If you actually look at the messages, these people are mad. They have something they want to prove. It's not really about money. I mean, they want to make some money here, but they are angry as hell, and they're sick and tired of getting stomped out by Wall Street, which they have been forever, and they finally now have at least some ammunition to get back. The danger is it's going to end badly for these stocks, and I hope people you know, don't lose money in the process. I wonder, though, I mean, now that this has happened, everybody knows it's happened and that the hedge funds and Wall Street itself are more vulnerable maybe than anyone imagined and the Internet still exists. I mean, what does this portend going forward? How, how I mean, we can't kind of continue as we have, can we? Sure. No, so one thing Wall Street and hedge funds are very good at is closing gaps and finding these sort of inefficiencies and closing them up. So what these people on Reddit, and my hat's off to them, by the way, it's brilliant what they did, is they found a real inefficiency in the market and a gap where something had been dramatically overshorted and they could actually, you know, get enough buying power. They did that. Wall Street now knows that. So I would be very shocked if hedge funds would create another situation so quick where it was so overly shorted that it would be that easy for people to come in as a group and bring the stock back up and start a short squeeze. So that might end. But I believe this is a paradigm shift right now. The little guy finally is equipped. Information travels instantly now. You see, it used to be only the big guys. They paid the analysts. They had, you know, all this stuff happened before the little guy. The big guys were colluding doing this stuff, right? So now the little guy finally has the ability to play that same game, at least somewhat, and there is going to be a radical change. It's not going to be the same. So I know you've had an exotic and famously wild personal life. That was so much more interesting and insightful than anything I've heard on any other channel about what we're seeing. And I, I'm, I'm grateful that you came on tonight. Thank you. Jordan Belfort, good to see you. My pleasure.